Hello and welcome to the English Box. Today we are going to talk about the present continuous tense. Firstly, we are going to look at the structure and then we are going to look at the use of this tense. So let's begin by looking at the affirmative. In the affirmative, we begin the sentence with the subject. So I, you, he, she, it, we or they. Then we have the auxiliary verb to be. For example, I am, you are, he is, we are or they are. And finally, you have the verb in the gerund form or the present participle with ing. So, for example, I am playing or you are playing. You can also contract the subject and the auxiliary verb, which is what we normally do in conversation. So it becomes I'm playing, you're playing, he's playing, we're playing, and they're playing. So we've looked at the affirmative. What about the negative? In negative, all you need to do is add not to the auxiliary verb to be. I'm not playing, you're not playing, he isn't playing, we aren't playing, and they aren't playing. In a closed question, you simply have to invert the auxiliary verb to be and the subject. So the question begins with the verb to be. Am I playing? Are you playing? Is he playing? Are we playing or are they playing? When you answer one of these questions, you can answer yes, I am or no, I'm not. So we use the auxiliary verb to be in the short answer to these questions. For an open question in the present continuous, you simply place a question word before the auxiliary verb. So what are you doing? For example, what is a question word, are is the conjugated verb to be, you the subject, and doing the verb in ing. So we have an example at the bottom of the page. What are you doing at the moment? I'm playing on the computer. So when do we use the present continuous? The first situation we use the present continuous to describe actions that are happening at the time of speaking. What are you doing? I'm watching television at the moment. Here on the diagram, this is the red action. The action started before the moment of speaking, will finish after the moment of speaking, and is in progress at the time of speaking. The yellow boxes describe a present simple action, an action that happens regularly. But we're talking about the action in progress right now. We also use the present continuous to express or highlight the temporary nature of an action. So to answer the question, where do you work? You could say, I'm working at a factory but just until I go to uni in September. Here you express the temporary nature of this action. It's only a temporary position. And thirdly, we use the present continuous to describe exceptional events. So things that don't normally happen, but which are happening today. For example, I usually go to bed at 11, but today I'm going to bed at 9 because I have to get up early tomorrow. So going to bed at 9 is the exceptional action. Okay, that brings us to the end of the video, just about two more points. The first is that the present continuous is not normally used with stative verbs. To find out more about this, click on the respective panel. 
and also the present continuous can be used to do to express future actions so click on the corresponding panel to see a video about that thank you very much for watching and see you next time bye bye